Music is a piece of art that goes from ears straight to the heart. Life is a song which has its own rhythm, beats and notes which keeps us resonating. Greetings of the day to our respected principal cum director Ms Manjurana ma'am, vice principal Ms V Suprabha ma'am, headmistresses Ms Sonal Shrivastava ma'am and Ms Indu Kohli ma'am, our honorable guest Ms Swapna Chatterjee ma'am, academic coordinator Ms Kanta Bhatta Chaji ma'am and class coordinator Ms Rashmi Rai ma'am. teachers and all the parents attending this virtual assembly we welcome you all on this soulful day to showcase a presentation of rhythm melody and harmony collaborated by the students of 9th a and e today i feel honored to welcome our principal cum director ma'am a magnanimous personality synonymous of a true leader mentor and motivator her actions influence and inspire each and every one to be pragmatic and raise our bar to dream big she is the strength and support of jaipuria ma'am is a recipient of the most prestigious president's award and is among the best 30 principals of india as nominated by education world we welcome you ma'am may we now request principal ma'am to inspire us with her motivating words well at the first i i it's a huge huge uh, honor for for uh, the management of st anandram jaipuria school and uh, my my personal honor to welcome uh, uh, ms swapna chatterji uh, ma'am uh, it's it's really an honor to see you on 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 this virtual platform today ma'am is a coordinator of uh, awakening citizen program of ram krishna mission we have been running this program um, in our school for past many years and the kind of um, impact it has had on the in, uh, uh, on our children had been tremendous uh, ma'am has been a trained classical singer from banaras gharana her guru guru is vidushi savita devi she is a graded known renowned radio and a television artist she has staged many performances of khayal thumri and devotional songs in india and abroad ma'am we would really love to savor your presence uh, physically you know when the school uh, opens and we would love to hear from you and a very very warm welcome on behalf of staff students Uh, and on my personal behalf namaste we also have with us a special guest mr brian henley and miss J- uh, jessia cherian we are delighted to welcome our special guest today uh, both of them uh, are from monica college melbourne and uh, they are Uh, you know a partner with us for a very long term project program with australia and in- india bridge program that we are working with um to give you uh, a brief about our guest today st monica's college and st anandram jaipuria school are working on a long term project as i said under the australian india bridge program The school is a co-educational enterprise, a passionate about innovation and growing opportunities for student. Um, Mr. Henry is a valued member and principal of Saint Monica's College, Melbourne, and Jessie Cherian is a science teacher, a value education assistant coordinator, and a program coordinator of Australian Indian Bridge Program. Mr. Henry. Um, is a committed member with the school for past 30 years and has provided a very extensive curriculum to the school also lots of outstanding school programs have been incorporated by him he has brought in lot of co curricular activities uh, within the school and the school is also providing modern facilities and buildings and resources to the children a very warm welcome to both of you we also have a special guest today uh, our valued parent mr vinod goyal qualified company secretary has done his mba in finance he has been associated with esteemed organizations and has a work experience of more than 20 years 
Currently, he practices as independent corporate consultant. A very warm welcome uh, to you, sir. So, on behalf of all the children, I welcome all our four guests of of the day. And today's presentation uh, by class ninth A and E, uh, you know, talks about the the soul, the language of soul. And uh, so, uh, you know, Swapna Ma'am is here, so I, I think. Uh, she's the one who will who will be speaking more about the impact that the indian classical music has uh, but what i can say is that the kind of diverse backgrounds uh, you know the, uh, that our artists come from to har gharane ki ek apni you know khubsurat hoti hai jaise ma'am banaras gharane se hai to uska ek apna flavor hai to yahan pe hamare desh mein har tarah ka music hai और क्लासिकल म्यूजिक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है और मैम आपको ये जान के बहुत खुशी होगी कि हम लोग अपने स्कूल में स्पिक मेके का प्रोग्राम बहुत रेगुलरली कराते हैं तो हर साल हमारे स्कूल में एक आर्टिस्ट म्यूजिक से और एक आर्टिस्ट डांस से जरूर आते हैं यू नो दे आर द वन हु कम एंड परफॉर्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन सो इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक अ वर्कशॉप इट्स लाइक you know they they uh, the artists are sharing their experiences with our children so it is simply beautiful and simply amazing and uh, f- uh, you know as you know very well music is just not about entertainment it defines our culture it defines our language you know defines our learning our expressions and overall it improves our uh, mental health so uh, with that uh, uh, i would request children to to start today's assembly thank you thank you ma'am for lighting the fire of this ceremony with your inspiring words we feel honored to be joined by our revered guests today foremost let's start this presentation by thanking god for this beautiful day let's pray to god for pe- keeping us safe bestowing upon us all the joy peace and happiness so i would request you all to join your hands close your eyes and chant the prayer along with somya ya kunde chief guest ms swapna chatterjee ma'am she is a social activist associated with ram krishna mission she is a trained classical singer from banaras gharana and a graded radio and television artist she has staged many performances of khayal tumri and devotional songs in india and abroad parents are the most important stakeholders of sages 
and their unswearing support and participation is extremely valuable. Representing the parent fraternity today, we have Mr. Vinod Koyal, who is the parent of one of our classmates, Dhruv Koyal. He is a certified company secretary and has completed his MBA in finance. He has around 20 years of work experience and is currently practicing as an independent corporate consultant. We welcome you, sir. A new day comes with new strength and new thoughts. So here's my friend Kushagra with a thought which has an inestimable value. The thought of the day is music and dance are great uniters, both an incredible force, something which people who differ on anything and everything else can have in common. This means that music and dance together create such an enchantment that unites the people of different culture and beliefs. Wow, the words are truly compelling and inspiring. Music is a divine creation which does not bind itself in the boundaries of land, language and culture. We say books are our best friends, but music can be considered as a companion which gives solace to our heart and keeps us engrossed in solitude. We might not understand the song or the lyrics, but music is always understood. Nature has its own music in form of the sounds of its creatures, the whistling of wind, the splash of river, the roar of sea. Every action is synchronized in perfect tune. Music is everywhere in the nature. Indian classical music is very closely connected to nature, taking inspiration from natural phenomena, including the seasons and times of the day, rags, were created to complement with the musical moods and synchronized with suitable beats or tals. Indian classical music is generally passed down in an oral tradition, where the student would spend many years with their guru, developing a very special spiritual bond imbibing all aspects of the music along with philosophical and moral principles that shape them for life. This is the reason we call Indian classical music as the language of soul. And this is what we are showcasing today in our presentation. Our attempt is to present selective glimpses from the history of Indian classical music and its great masters. We have just tried to gather few pearls from the great ocean. So, let's start our musical journey through an enactment showcasing the glorious past of Indian classical music. The scene depicts where a boy sees a drum and inquisitively asks his grandfather about it. Hey Grandpa, today I found something really unique. It was a big box and a trumpet attached to it. And I wonder why it also had one broken disc. See, it is kept over there. Oh, that, that is called a gramophone. It was gifted by my father when I passed high school. He promised me that when I will join college, he'll bring me more vinyl records to play on it. It's about 65 or so years old, I don't remember correctly. Anyway, you know, I used to listen to records of Bade Gulam Ali Khan, Pandit Jasraj, Pandit Ravi Shankar, Pandit Dheem Sen Joshi, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasiya, and many great musicians of my time. Now it is old and needs repair. Moreover, the records are also unavailable these days. And the music, it's already on our phone, that app, what's it called? Yes, Spotify, Spotify, yes, yes, <laughs> technologies these days. Ah, uh, the name you just called, who are they? Please tell me about them. Yes, yes, certainly my child. They were the great classical musicians of my time. The great vocalist who spellbounded masses with their renditions of rags and tals with perfection. Grandpa, I am often fascinated how Indian music came into existence. Who created music first? 
Good. Good that you're interested. Very few people are at your age. Say, I will tell you a story from where Indian classical music originated. The origin of Indian classical music is from Om or Brahman, which we call the sum of the universe. With the creation of this universe by Lord Brahma, Vedas were inscripted. Our Vedas prescribe the chanting of Vedic hymns in a uniform pitch and tone. In the script of one of the four Vedas, the Samavid has a section describing musical notes and rags believed to be created by Lord Shiv and Goddess Parvati. Musical pieces created during this period were devotional stotras praising God and nature. The mythological presentation of Goddess Saraswati holding Veena, Lord Krishna with a flute confirms the belief that music is divine. Bharat Muni scripted Natya Shastra, the earliest known treatise of Indian music, which comprises of three elements Gayan, Vadan, and Nritya. The description of Sapta Sur and original rags is mentioned in this book. Do you know the great musician of Akbar's court, Mia Tansin? He could ignite a lamp by the singing of his rag Deepak. It is also said that with the impactful and divine singing of his rag Mia Malhar, he would create showers. Clouds would forecast the sky and peacocks were seen dancing. I will tell you something more about different eras of Hindustani classical music. During medieval period, music was influenced by Persian music, particularly Sufi composers. Amir Khusro, the great musician of this period, was instrumental in fusion of Persian music and instruments with Indian classical music. During this period, there were many developments and changes in classical music. He modified Veena into sitar and Pakhavaj to tabla. The consequences of this influence resulted in two distinct systems of classical music, Hindustani classical music and Carnatic music. The great maestros of the medieval period were Swami Haridas, Teju Bhavra, Baz Bhadar and Niya Tansi who invented several rounds. The renditions were a combination of rags with divinity. This tradition continued and now Hindustan classical music is recognized and appreciated globally. The musicians of 19th and 20th century carried the tradition of gharanas and Guru Shishya traditions. The gems like Ustad Alauddin Khan, Pandit Jishnu Pulaskar, Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi, Pandit Jasraj, Pandit Ravi Shankar, Tabla Maestro, Ustad Zakir Hussain, Ali Akbar Khan and many more jewels are in the crown. They have not only carried the tradition but also brought music close to the common man. As you saw that during medieval period, Hindustani classical music was influenced by Sufi and Persian music. Amir Khusro, a great musician of medieval period, invented Tarana, which is similar to Kalbana form of Sufi poetry. Come, I will show you more about this.
Wow, what an enchanting performance. Grandpa, what are rags? Please tell me about that also. Indian classical music is based on rags and thals. There are different thoughts from which different rags originated from. We have different rag for different time of the day. For example, the morning begins with rag Bhairavi. Then we sing rag Bhimpalasi during daytime. Rag Yaman is sung during the first quarter of the night and along with rag Malkaus for night. While Tal is a rhythm given to classical music. It can also be in the form of beats given by musical instruments. Come. I will show you a rendition of Chota Khayal based on Raag Bhopali. Oh,
such a melodious composition. Grandpa, please tell me about Indian classical musicians. Yes, yes, certainly my child. Pandit Jasraj Pandit Jasraj was a great Indian classical vocalist. As his career, he opted to be a singer, a tabla player and a music teacher. His precious awards and honours included Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, Sangeet Natak Academy Award and many more. He was known for his perfection and clarity in singing. His devotional album Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya made him popular among the masses. Bhimsen Joshi was one of the greatest Indian vocalists from Karnataka in the Hindustani classical tradition. He is known for the khayal form of singing as well as for his popular renditions of devotional music in classical form. In 1998, he was awarded the Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship. He also won Padma Vibhushan in 1999, Padma Shri in 1972, Padma Bhushan in 1985 and was honored by Bharat Ratna in 2009. Nawaz Zakir Hussain is the most famous tabla player of our country in the post-independence era. Over the years, he has performed with many talented musicians not just in India but across the world. He became a famous international celebrity after taking the sounds of tabla to many international festivals and shows. This eventually flooded him with opportunities to work in many international movies as well. This led to the creation of brilliant works of fusion which was both new to Indian and overseas audience as well. Overall, his, pop, uh, his contribution towards popularizing the Indian percussion is immense. His precious awards and honors include the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan. Pandit Ravi Shankar was a sitar player, a music composer and the founder of National Orchestra of India. He is credited for popularizing instrumental music in the West. He won many prestigious awards which include the Grammy in 2001, the Premium Imperial in 1997. He was also conferred with the Padma Bhushan and the Bharat Ratna. He became the best known exponent of the Indian instrumental music by the half of the 20th century and influenced many young singers throughout the world. Prasad Shaurasya is one of the eminent flute players of our country. He worked as a performant composer in All India Radio Mumbai in 1960. He did many experiments with flute which made it a popular instrument. He extended his horizons beyond North Indian classical music to Indian folk, popular music and to fusion music as well. He was awarded with the Sangeet Natal Academy Award and Padma Bhushan in 1992. He was also awarded with the Sangeet Natal Academy Fellowship in 2012. Rukmani Devi Arundhle was an Indian theosophist, dancer and choreographer of the Indian classical form of Bharatanatyam and an activist for animal welfare. She was the first Indian woman to be nominated as the member of Rajya Sabha. Rukmani Devi features in India's Today's People Who Shaped India. Rukmani Devi was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1956 and the Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship in 1967. She espoused the cause of Bharatnatyam, which was considered as the Valharat. Wow! Thank you, Grandpa, for making me aware of this glorious past of Indian music. Musical instruments are elemental to all musical forms, whether it's singing or dancing. A rhythm given to the classical music can be in the form of the beats given by the musical instruments. So, musical instruments play a very important role. Now, let us see a presentation on various types of Indian classical instruments.
music has benefits in learning, improving mental health and physical well-being. Now, let us watch a presentation on music and well-being. Music is a therapy as it touches our soul. It is also the best way to express your emotions. If you love listening to music, you are in a good company. Charles Darwin once remarked, if I had my life to live over again, I would have made a rule to read some poetry and to listen to, his, uh, to some music once every day. Albert Einstein pursued his passion to play violin every day apart from the miraculous theories he gave. Recent research shows that listening to music improves our mental well-being and boosts our physical health in surprising and astonishing ways. Music makes us feel happy. When we listen to music, our brain releases dopamine, a feel-good neurotransmitter. Thus, reduces depression, anxiety and insomnia. When we chant mantras or sing bhajans, it relaxes our mind. Music improves recovery of patients. Researchers have proved that light soulful music or recital of Gayatri Mantra Mahamritunjaya improves cognitive function in patients with serious ailments. Music is also a way to learn. Don't you remember the nursery rhymes and tables? They are taught in a musical way to make learning more easy and interesting for young children. The morning prayers, singing national anthem, they are composed in a way to arouse a sense of devotion and patriotism among all. So here comes a presentation from our friend Adeem at Sharanya where they have found a way to memorize the properties of metals and non-metals. We use it all the time, so let's fit the properties of metals in our mind. Song with the first, it's malleability. We make them thin, the details to sheets. Metals are the tile, can be drawn into wires. They are coated with teflon so they don't catch fire. Moving on the last, the properties are vast. As you saw, they can be cast into wires or thin sheets. They conduct electricity and heat. Indian classical music is a blend of three branches, Gayan, Vadan and Ritya. They follow the same principles of Tal and Leh. Bharatnatyam, Odissi, Kuchipudi and Kathak are some of the Indian classical dance forms. Here we present a dance recital by Kathak dancers of our class, Bhumika, Aditi and Nayanika.
music changes with time. Many of the Hindi songs are based on classical rags. Although Indian film music is a blend of classical music with western instruments, most of the composition of old film music are based on different rags. Touching the notes of patriotism, here comes a medley. The songs are composed in different tracks which will pitch up the mood of patriotism. Mera mulk, mera desh, mera ye vatan Shanti ka unnati ka pyaar ka chaman Mera mulk, mera desh, mera ye vatan Shanti ka unnati ka pyaar ka chaman इसके वास्ते न सार है मेरा तन मेरा मन ए वतन ए वतन ए वतन जाने मन जाने मन जाने मन ए वतन ए वतन ए वतन जाने मन जाने मन जाने मन महबूब मेरी मेरी नस नस में तेरा इश्क बह फीका न पड़े कभी रंग तेरा जिसमों से निकल के खून कहे इंसाफ की डगर पे 
बच्चों दिखाओ चल के ये देश है तुम्हारा नेता तुम ही हो कल के इंसाफ की डगर पे बच्चों दिखाओ चल के ये देश है तुम्हारा नेता तुम ही हो कल के दुनिया के रंज सहना और कुछ न मुँह से कहना दुनिया के रंज सहना और कुछ न मुँह से कहना सच्चाइयों के बल पे आगे को बढ़ते रहना सच्चाइयों के बल पे आगे को बढ़ते रहना रख दोगे एक दिन तुम संसार को बदल के रख दोगे एक दिन तुम संसार को बदल के इंसाफ के डगर पे बच्चों दिखाओ चल के ये देश है तुम्हारा नेता तुम्हें मुकल के With this, we come to the end of our presentation. Now, I would like to invite our honorable chief guest to share her blessings on us. <laughs> so, respected principal, ma'am, uh, Manju Rana ji, and uh, uh, the vice principal, and as well as the headmistresses, uh, it has been a wonderful uh, experience for me, and I feel honored, really honored. we with you today uh, to see all the performances uh, of the children uh, dancing singing and uh, of class 9th isn't it and uh, i also thank rashmi ma'am who is instrumental uh, of me being here today uh, you know uh, this performances uh, it shows uh, that uh, the great devotion you have got in your a uh, musical journey or in your dance journey so i first of all i will appreciate uh, uh, manju rana ji uh, because you know she has uh, uh, created this ambience for you not only introducing you to classical form of music and dance but also you know she is uh, uh, collaborating with uh, uh, st monica college who uh, 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 i think uh, some of the um who was representing there also here we congrats i congratulate you also that you are also i mean it it shows that music is not music is not we cannot define it isn't it it is it can be transmitted to different hearts and different countries also and like boy said that we don't understand the lyrics but we can always appreciate the tune and the rhythm and the uh, ever flowing you know uh, good things uh, that music can uh, uh, give us so what what is a raga you know this raga is uh, it's a, in, in, in classical music it's just only seven notes okay sa re ga ma pa tha so this notes you know what happens it has got different just it's a structure each rag has got a structure and uh, this is varied com uh, combinations uh, so this has got a set pattern also so according to this system you know uh, if the notes uh, we take haphazardly what will happen will we be uh, there will be purity in the music as a pure form isn't it and it become it doesn't become it becomes a cataphony then this is uh, you must remember this is strongly i suggest you that this has to be uh, avoided why you know then this if the system is not there if the pattern that shuddhata in, in, in hindi we say shuddh pure it is a pure form and we will have to stick it in uh, khayal especially but in other forms you know we can put other ragas like in, uh, in even in tumri i am i think in tumri so to bring out the bhava you know the emotions sometimes in tumri it is allowed uh, to put uh, some uh, other ragas but you have to come back to the main raga that is that is very difficult 
once you deviate you, you mix it for your own emotion you mix it with other raga and come back so chumri singing is not easy and then you know once you expertise in uh, uh, classical music and what is classical music because you have to do a lot of practice isn't it then you know it is so easy for you to sing the other the folk even bollywood singing bollywood dancing unless you uh, are expert in uh, classical form that is uh, that will be difficult and you know once you go on practicing you know i will you must have heard of swami vivekananda what he used to say he used to say there are three p's that will p a b c d p let like one is purity the other is perfection and the third is perseverance in life also it is uh, uh, applicable and i think in uh, uh, classical dance and music it is without this you can't you have to think remain the purity in mind towards your the raga or the form of dancing kathak dancing you cannot mix when you are uh, having a kathak dance recital can you uh, uh, have a uh bhagnatam style in that no then your marks will be deducted isn't it but when you are performing a bollywood you mix everything so when you are singing a bhajan you can mix everything to bring out your emotions to see so music is a, that is why you know and then this is purity then becomes uh, uh, then comes the perfection we have to be perfect you know putting the notes for that you know what will happen we have to uh, we will train our not only our voice we have to train our ears also and for the dancers issues why you know when you are you have to judge it yourself like in music you have to do to bring perfection you have to be conscious you have to be conscious mind whether i am putting the right note okay to bring perfection you have to practice if do if you don't get time every day because this is so much of pressure for, for uh, academics also you make it a point earlier used to go to for it was guru shishya parampara this student used to go there and listen and stay with the gurus but now it is not possible now even online like you performed online you can learn online but effort is from your side to bring perfection unless you are perfect in all parts of life music dance it needs perfection okay and third one is perseverance you have to stick to it you have the uh, urge in inside isn't it and with the help of your school you think they they are encouraging your principal ma'am is encouraging you so much i really really appreciate uh, ma'am your uh, uh, your uh, inspiration uh, your being inspiration inspiration inspirational guide to the children so so i think uh, children uh, you will uh, remember this and you know another thing is that uh, starting uh, uh, classical music or dance in early age it, it has got an advantage also so to train you you have you will train your voice and yours to grasp the beauty and the intricacy of classical music this will take to you a, a long journey to establish you as a classical singer or a dancer okay you so you need a focused mind you need perfection to bring perfection to your performance and to reach your goal perseverance to reach your goal you will practice perseverance also so i hope with this i wish you all the best and your performances i enjoyed so much your dance and uh, music and also the narrations and, and this is also for the uh, children who are taking part in uh, conducting the program other than who are performers there is scope of everybody you can start it today also okay you start with the belief that i can do it when you bring it to yourself you why not i will also give it a try and i will do it 
and I will make my school proud. I will make my parents proud. Yes? How do you think when you perform? How does your teacher uh, appreciate you? How does she feel? You feel happy and proud, isn't it? Equally, the teacher and your parents, they also feel very proud of you. So, children, so I request you uh, to continue with your journey in music and dance. And once you become expert in all these fields, keeping in mind of all three Ps, purity, perfection, and perseverance, and then you will uh, will all be very successful in life. Then you can do any Bollywood uh, singing, any Bollywood dances, that is going to help you. But classical training is absolutely necessary. You not only are happy when you are singing, you can make others happy. You can transmit the happiness. And people, you know, when they are very upset and all, if you sing a music to them, if you sing something, they become a little happy. They become a little uh, settled that with their emotions and all. So promise. I want a promise from you, children, that you will continue in your journey with the music. Thank you all. Thank you, uh, uh, Rashmi ma'am and uh, uh, Principal ma'am, uh, uh, Manju ma'am, for uh, I really enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for illuminating our minds with your precious words. Jaipuria skyline is to reach the world's spheres. In the former year, school has conducted many international school exchange programs which has facilitated exchange of knowledge, culture, and ideas. Under the mentorship of our principal and vice principal, ma'am, we have now streamed India-Australia Bridge Project. The blessings of technology has brought the world closer. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our guest from St. Monica's College, Epping, Melbourne, Australia. Mr. Brian Hanley, sir, principal of St. Monica's College, and Ms. Jessie Cherian, ma'am, Value Education Assistant and Coordinator of this program. We welcome you both and we also welcome all our friends who have joined us from Australia today. Now I request Mr. Brian Hanley sir to address, to address the gathering and inspire us with his precious words. Good afternoon, Madam Chief Judge, to Mrs. Manju Rana, the Principal and the Vice Principal and the students of the Seth Anandram Jaipuria School. On behalf of my colleagues and my students here at St. Monica's College Epping, we feel very fortunate indeed uh, to have been able to see and to hear and very particularly to enjoy Indian classic music, the language of soul. What a beautiful expression and what a wonderful way to depict classical language, uh, classical music in that type of language. St Monica's College is celebrating its feast day because uh, in the church, St Monica's feast day is remembered on the 27th of August. And so this is a very special week for us made more special by being able to be present with you uh, today. Interestingly, the son of St. Monica is St. Augustine, a man of the fourth century, a long time ago. But what did St. Augustine leave us in regard to music? He left us with some very important words. And he wrote, to sing is to pray twice. How beautiful to honour music and singing through those words. Thank you very much for sharing with us your talents and your skills and your passion. Students of years nine and 10, what a wonderful future you have and what a wonderful culture you shared with us today. We wish you very well. We thank you for the dance. We thank you for the song. We thank you for introducing us to famous musicians. 
to important people in the cultural life of India. And thank you for reminding us too that music indeed is a critical and central part of our personal well-being. And you have done that today in most splendid fashion. So thank you indeed. We were reminded through your presentation today of COVID, which is spread throughout the world. And we share that grief and that sorrow and that significant challenge. And together with hope, with the language of soul, and with great determination, let us hope that the COVID situation will deteriorate and decrease very rapidly. And so we respect India very much here at St. Monica's College Epping. We have hundreds of students who either were born in India or their parents or their grandparents were born in India. It's that part of Melbourne where a lot of Indian families have decided to set up their home and to raise their family. And so beautiful India uh, is certainly a part of our culture here at St. Monica's College Epping. And we hope through Ms. Sherian and others as the years go on to develop a bridge between your school and our school as well. So as I say, on behalf of my colleagues and on behalf of the students of St. Monica's College Epping, we wish you well. We thank you for what you have shared with us. And we truly do believe that to sing is to pray always and to pray twice. And our college theme, I leave with you today, our college theme for 2021 is to each and every one of you, adults and children um, of the Seth and Andrew Jaipura School, Shalom, anywhere you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It was indeed a pleasure to have you all with us today. Thank you so much for your wonderful words. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, sir, for illuminating our minds with your precious words. Now we request Ms. Jessie Cherian, ma'am, to give her precious inputs to enlighten us. Good morning to all of the students and all of the staff um, in India and good afternoon to my colleagues and my students in Australia. Just wanted to quickly say a huge thank you to um, both counterparts, to SMC and to SAJ um, for coordinating such a beautiful event. And it really is amazing what technology can do and how we can bring both countries together and to bring both of our students. And it's so clear to see that, you know, language is not a barrier and distance is definitely not a barrier here. So I'm just so glad to have everyone here together to share each other's culture. And we hope to continue this relationship going forward. And hopefully we will host something soon for you guys to enjoy as well. So thank you. Thank you, Mum, for your kind words. Last but not the least, I would like to call upon our respected parent representative, Mr. Vinod Goyal, to share his valuable thoughts. Good morning to all. Uh, really, these kids, are, these kids are very amazing. Uh, I have no words. Uh, really, it was a very wonderful program and I am feeling very proud to see our great musical journey. My sincere thank thanks to our principal ma'am, our teachers and the entire Jaipur staff to organize such a wonderful event. Every time we Jaipurians show what we are and it's another golden chapter added to our history. I appreciate the efforts as taken by our teachers and all the staff who are working persistently for betterment of our kids without having us felt existence of COVID-19 since our kids have performed very well as they have been doing in the past under normal circumstances. At no stage we feel any inattention from the management and they seem determined and confident to shape future of our kids who in turn shall contribute 
to cause our country and become good citizens role of elementary education cannot be ruled out and those covid being a disaster yet under able guidance of our honorable principal ma'am the team excelled in all spheres the principal ma'am does not need more words of praise since various awards conferred on her speaks a lot about her personality and traits i once again express my heartfelt gratitude for the school authorities teachers and especially the principal ma'am lastly some words for our students never give up you have the full ability to do any work perfectly so keep working hard and follow your dreams raste kahan khatam hote hain zindagi ke safar mein manzilein to wahan hain jahan khwahishein tham jaye thank you very much thank you sir on behalf of all the students i extend a hearty vote of thanks to our elegant and charismatic principal cum director ms manjurana ma'am our guest of the day mr brian handy sir ms tessy sherin ma'am ms swapna chatterjee ma'am mr goel for this for sparing their valuable time for us i also thank our vice principal v suprabha ma'am whose energy makes us enthusiastic to accomplish our task our most affable and supportive headmistress ma'am whose guidance has led us to this performance our loving and supportive headmistress ms indu kohli ma'am and last but not the least our academy coordinator ms kanta bhattacharji ma'am and coordinator rashmi rai ma'am for their valuable inputs which has made this presentation a success i want to thank all the parents for their unconditional support thanks to our teachers and each one of you <laughs> just like to add here the program was fabulous okay. uh, all the performances were excellent uh, there was so much of information about indian music and uh, it, it was really great it was wonderful to hear swapna ma'am vinod sir uh, hanley sir and everyone wonderful work, wonderful work children great congratulations everyone thank you can i can i uh, add a word ma'am yes ma'am can i add something sure please so uh, i i i uh, i want to add uh, the the congratulations to the parents also which i forgot to tell you with your encouragement you you can guide your children you know with uh, please i'm so happy that the unless the parents allow the children you know it cannot it you also are a, is a great uh, stakeholder of the whole journey thank you thank you everyone thank you again it was wonderful being here and on children i wish you all the best in life especially to music and dance